Zones are a way to securely divide up a storage area network fabric, where we can say that this initiator or host should talk to this storage device on the network. And the reason we do that is for multiple things. A, security. B, because if two hosts access the same storage device or even the same disk on that storage device, then we can have a disk that gets corrupted. And obviously our data integrity is critical in these types of networks. So we can take a single fabric and we can divide it up into different zones where hosts, initiators, and storage devices targets can basically act as ships in the night on the fabric. There are two common zone configurations that you'll run into in storage area networks. The first one is single initiator and single target where we have a single host or a single connection for that host on the storage area network associated with a single storage device or a single target. And this is the best practice or recommended configuration, unless you're going to exceed some type of a scalability limit. In that case, we can start to group together multiple targets. So we have a single initiator or host that may need to talk to multiple targets. It's okay to group those together if you need to conserve resources and you're worried about your scalability limits. So to the right, we have a logical representation of what our storage area network might look like, where I have, for instance, zone one that we have H1 and H3 connected to as initiators and S1 connected to as the target. So we can have multiple zones on our network and zones, once again, provide a method for specifying access and who gets what access to which storage devices. We then take those zones and we can group them together in what we call a zone set. And then we can deploy that zone set across the fabric. And in this case, only one zone set can be active at the same time because they share a common zone. So in this case, you can either have zone A active or zone B active, but they can't be active at the same time. Please join us for 17.3, Performing Initial Storage Networking Setup.